So our librarian, Ms. Townley, has been working with our 3D printer uh, for a quite some time now, um, trying to figure out how to work it and all the cool things that we could do with it. So we're going to check out some of the work that she's already done. Okay. So we got a brand new 3D printer. It's going to be part of our new maker space. And I've been playing around with it, trying to figure out how much it can do. Um, so I wanted to see how small I could go. So I made this little castle. There's lots of little threads in there. So the smaller you scale something, the harder it is for the printer to print it really, really well. When you print stuff, it prints with something called a raft on the bottom, um, which is a support. And if you turn this over, you can see those lines, that's a raft on there. You peel it off when you're done. So small things, it doesn't do quite as well. The bigger stuff, it does very well. This is actually only 50% filled, so it's not a solid object, but it's very sturdy. Well, and that's a monorail. It's right? a monorail. Like, one of those like Disney that World. Oh, awesome. That's exactly yeah. what I thought about. So, awesome. that's actually a stand. It's very sturdy. I'm going to try painting it and see how that works. Very cool. You can also build stuff that you can wear with a 3D printer. So I made a bow tie. I saw this on Twitter yesterday. And you can actually put it on any button that you want. Cool. So. <laughs> awesome. So, you could always wear it if you'd like to. But I'm trying to see how many different things I can do with the 3D printer. Um, we are trying something special right now that I just designed. It's the first thing I designed myself, so hopefully it will not be a disaster. Um, how hard is it to design something? Um, I use a program called Tinkercad, and that's actually pretty intuitive. You build with shapes. So um, if I wanted to build like an American flag, I would start with a square, and then I would tell it I wanted to work on top of the square, and I would put another square for the corner. And I would put in stars. So it's a lot of dragging and placing stuff and adjusting sizes. It's a lot easier than real CAD design, which is a lot of programming and math. And I'm not very good at that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. No, um, but that way it's easy enough that if our students or staff wanted to do it, they could do it really easily. Awesome. Um, I heard Mr. Hoyer designed something for his robotics class. He has. I, he hasn't printed them up here. We actually have two 3D printers. There's one down in his department. Um, so he's built a lot of parts for his robots, but I haven't actually seen them. Oh. He says they're actually sturdier than the ones that the robots came with. Yeah, there's lots of things to try. If you'd like to come down and see the 3D printer in action, you are always welcome to. Well, so is there any time a student can actually come down and... If they wanted to come down during lunch, they could try it um, with my help. Or if they wanted to convince their teacher to come down, we could design things and we could print them out. Okay, awesome. Cool. Um, so you guys heard it right there. Um, lots of cool things that we could do. Uh, talk to your teachers, maybe talk to one of the administrators to let you come down for lunch. Um, and you could start checking this thing out. It's pretty cool. We just, we're printing something right now, actually. Uh, I was just walking down the hallway and I heard the national anthem and definitely want to check this out. So much cool stuff going on. I called back to the class. Um, they saw me, so we gotta check this out. Hey! I was walking down the hall and I heard the national anthem. I was like, I gotta check this out. So what are we doing here? Do it for the country, national anthem, and uh, also the national flag. When they teach the topic this week. So they're doing, they're translating it to Chinese? Yes. Oh, they're. Translating the national anthem into Chinese. Okay. Okay. You got Guo Jia, that's your home country. You got Guo Qi and Guo uh, Ge, the national anthem. Okay. Rock on. Wait, what are you guys eating? Alright, okay, so you're gonna play for us?
for me? <laughs> awesome, we're gonna get my own uh, M&M's. This is gonna be great. That's insane, Heidi Kirkland. I'm on the news! <laughs> I could never do that. What's that? Arm and M's are not good for chopsticks. Yeah, I, I would have, that's, that's a skill you really got to develop. Rock it's on. hard candy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, man. I'm here with the blog right now, guys. <laughs> Sir. <laughs>